De Momiori, where two rivers meet. After hearing about such an epic spot, I just had to go there and see for myself. So join me as me and my friend Patrick go on a journey to this mystical island. Hey, welcome back to another Kokoro Kompas video. I'm here today with Patrick. He's on the bike right there. And we're gonna bike to Duomori, something like this. It's like, a, it's like a lake where they film the famous drama and it looks very cozy. So right now we're in, uh, in Hanam with these cute two characters. And uh, we're gonna go on a bike adventure. So uh, come along with us today. And so our adventure begins. The first challenge is to actually get out of Hanam. We have to head to the bridge that crosses the river. Ooh, uh, I think this might not be the right way, but okay, let's see. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to climb up these stairs. Yeah, we already got lost. We're not up to a good start, but that's part of the adventure. All right. And so we cross the Han River out of the city and into the countryside. This is where the real adventure begins. Oh, this is nice. It's a bit bumpy. I'm from the Netherlands and we don't really have hills like this. So it was really fun to zip down the hill at full speed. Wow, so different from Seoul, even though we just did a one hour trip by a train. And so we followed the river past enormous dams, correctly old bridges, a spooky tunnel, Ooh, spooky, and beautiful countryside views. This bike route seems to be quite popular. I guess we'll follow all these people. Well, look at this bike light, it has a little bike in it. <laughs> and I Very felt cool. a real sense of community with the other cyclists. We were all heading in the same direction and enjoying our day out. And I even spotted a Brompton here and there. Nice bike. I was really taken away how beautiful this road is. You're right between the mountains and cycling under the trees, over bridges. There was always something to see. We finally made it to the last bridge going to the island of Yangsu, where we will find our destination, De Mont Miori. The island houses a tiny little town which felt very cute and countryside-ish. But it looks like we're somewhere. There's a lot of parkings here, so there's something significant. Oh. Yes. Here or here? Oh, here. Is this where we're gonna get a... <laughs> we're gonna disappear forever? made it to Dumo Miori, something like this. And it's famous for all these uh, lily pads, I think you call them, not sure what you call them. And there was some sort of uh, drama filmed here. So there's a lot of tourists here. And uh, yeah, the nature is, uh, the nature is very nice. Patrick can speak a little bit Korean and he said uh, this means how healthy you are if you fit in between the thinner ones you're more healthy so Patrick show us how healthy you actually are <laughs> oh well you fit in sideways I'm not sure if you're supposed to go straight or sideways all right 29 27 yeah no I don't think that's gonna <laughs> I don't think that's gonna fit Oh no, very unhealthy. So apparently, 
There is the pond of love. I'm not gonna go there with uh, with Patrick. <laughs> we'll skip this part. And then there's the tropical water lily pond, red lotus pond. Well, that sounds really nice. So we crossed yet another bridge and made our way there. We're in semi one, which is some sort of garden, and uh, yeah, it's really nice. There's a lot of uh, Korean traditional buildings. You guys know I love that stuff. So uh, let's see some more nice Korean gardens. Well, of course we have to walk like this. Yeah, this place really is super relaxing. And then we have the red lotus ponds and apparently the colors are so beautiful to remind of ladies in Korean traditional dress. So if you guys like Korean ladies, you gotta see this red lotus pond. There's a lot of really weird statues here. I mean, look at this one. That's kind of weird. Yeah, there's a lot of strange uh, statues here. I feel like there's some sort of deeper meaning that I'm missing. If anyone's watching uh, knows what this all means, can you explain it to me? Oh, and while you're at it, can you explain the meaning of a uh, lady kissing a baby's butt. Is there a deeper meaning behind that too? And apparently this is the pond of love. I'm taking a little bit more distance from Patrick because I just saw two people here making out very aggressively. I think it's working, the pond of love. Stay away from me, Patrick! <laughs> In the meanwhile, there's a tank right there. I think it's very small on the screen. So that's it for semi one, and uh, I have to say it was uh, was really nice. A lot of lotus stuff, and I kind of associate lotuses with uh, with Asia. So I had one of those moments where I really felt like, ah, oh, I'm in Asia, I'm in Korea. So uh, if you want to chase that feeling as well, come to uh, semi one, I, I guess. So they even have lotus themed snacks. So this is lotus leaf. Lotus root and lotus, oh, lotus seeds. Yeah. Oh well, one of those. <laughs> so Patrick was kind enough to give me half of his. So I'm gonna taste. <laughs> oh, it's good. It's good, but it's kind of dry, right? Yeah, I like the, I like the texture. It's very similar to red bean paste. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Good. And so we rode off into the sunset back towards Hanam but not before we stopped at this cool biker restaurant. Even the chef came out in full biking gear. Oh, that's your food. Oh, my waifu, waifu. <laughs> oh! 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 How romantic! <laughs> Thank you! So, this place is like a, a noodle restaurant, and uh, Patrick's very hungry. He's been suffering all day. <laughs> He didn't eat too much and uh, looks pretty good. Let's dig in. I think this is one of the best meals I've eaten in Korea so far. Just what the doctor ordered after such a long bike ride. So that concludes our little bike ride to Dilmoni and uh, yeah, it was very nice. Thanks for joining Patrick. Thanks for your patience. Oh, thank you.
Yeah, and uh, you'll see me again in the next video. And maybe Patrick too, you never know. So, uh, bye bye. So thanks for watching our little adventure to the Momiori. I really loved spending the day in nature, in between the mountains. It was one of those days that I could really forget about all my worries. And as of this video, we are almost at 200 subscribers. So thanks everyone who subscribed and left a comment. I really appreciate it. Let's see if we can hit that magical thousand soon. There's a really nice adventure coming up soon to the place on earth I love most and I can't wait to take all of you with me. So thanks again everyone for watching, recommending your friends, leaving a comment, all that stuff. And I'll see you guys again in the next video.